Welcome guys, we're definitely not on the farm right now, we are at something I've been wanting to go to for a long time, and that is the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it's just a little bit after 9 o'clock when the gates open and stuff, and as you can see, it is already packed. So, let's go in here, I've never been in here before, let's go and explore this together and see what happens. Okay guys, before we go any further with this, there is something in this photo that I purchased today, but the question is, what was it? Comment at the bottom what you think I bought, and I will reveal at the end of the episode. Okay guys, if you like tractor pulls, check this out. Here's a pulling tractor made by the students at the University of Kentucky. Man, I looked at this and I was like in awe. Man, I just really love this, I love how it looks. Uh, it's really cool. Okay guys, we're here with Brandon from Gravely and he's got us really cool uh, new well motor, just new for 2024. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy this. Brandon, would you tell us a bit about this? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, like you said, brand new for 2024. This is our Gravely Ovis 40. Um, and this is a remote control flail mower. And you'll see at the front here, this housing is about 40 inches wide. There are actually 56 individual flail blades underneath that that spin a drum rope going over it as opposed to you know, in the back that you have to actually you know, push the material over. Um, it's got a 23 and a half horse Briggs Vanguard with a dry sump oil system to give it good constant oil pressure. Uh, Hydrogen 3100 transaxle, so it's got a commercial transaxle. Drivetrain that you know everybody's very familiar with. Okay. And really what this is for is your, your aggressive hillside so we can handle 50, 55 degree slopes. So if you think, you know, side the highway where you've got the big tractors that have the arm going down and cutting, I can go safely, remote control, cut that, cut that property, uh, 50, 55 degree slopes. We've got guys that run this out in marshy areas that you can't get equipment back to. We've got guys that are out cutting power line areas. So if I'm walking all the way back in the sticks and I need to clear some, some paths for, you know, walkways, this thing will do it. 
Uh, I've got guys that they'll have solar panel farms that they're out cutting underneath those solar panels where you can't get a zero turnout to. Um, I've run this thing through 10 foot tall cattails. We've had it, you know, vertical on sides of highways cutting and um, it's, it's, it's a heck of a machine. And, and really it's gonna open up not only opportunities for landscape contractors um, to be able to go bid jobs that they didn't even know they could do, um, but also, you know, government entities, um, you know, that, that need to have trails cut and hillsides and all that stuff. So uh, very excited about it. It's got a thousand foot range. So basically, as far as I can see it, I'm going to be able to operate it. Um, yeah. What? Any other questions uh, you can think of? Uh, yeah, how much does a unit like this run? Um, so I think pricing still kind of getting finalized, but your list price right around about 41,000. Um, now, I know that sounds really, really aggressive, but if you do some research, there's some competitors out there in the market that they are actively selling used ones for 55 and 60,000. Okay. So brand spanking new from us, list price, low low 40s, probably even see it actually in the high 30s really by the end of the day. Okay. So. so I could order this from about any Gravely dealer. So what I would do is reach out to reach out to your local Gravely dealer. You can yeah. get on gravely.com, uh, find a dealer, type in your zip code. It'll pull up all the Gravely dealers near you go out and talk to them, have the conversation, and they can place an order for this, yes. Awesome. Yep. Well, I thank you very much for hey, talking to me. Thank you, appreciate it. Here's something that I've been wanting to see for a while. These have actually been out for a little while, but uh, it's a little miniature uh, round bells, uh, bellers. If you notice, they actually runs off of a three-point hitch system instead of the drawbar, but these are specifically made for these little subcompact tractors that you're starting to be more popular now, like the little uh, 1025R John Deere's and uh, the other little uh, miniature tractors that you've uh, been uh, more, that you see more and more anymore uh, especially if the small homesteaders uh here's a way you know if you can't afford the big uh uh tractors the big belling systems and you just got some small acreage uh you know sometimes it don't make sense to buy the uh the big stuff but here's this is something to uh where you can uh, make your own bells and stuff and you don't have to rely on your neighbor to uh do the belling and stuff for you so i always thought these were kind of neat kind of cool um, and you know they're moderately priced uh, definitely a lot cheaper than the uh, bigger equipment just thought that was kind of cool
Uh, so this has been with uh, Bad Boy Tractors, and he's got something to say. I just want to give a shout out to my kids, Colby, Parker, Brady, and Audrey. I want to say hi to you guys from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Daddy will be home soon. <laughs>
Okay, so towards the beginning of the video, I said at the end I was going to reveal what I actually bought. So if any of you guessed, and let's have a little drum roll. The hat. That is what I bought. But that wasn't all we got today. Uh, Steph, she found her a little rooster pinwheel that she really liked. Or she says it's not little. It's actually about the size of a rooster. But uh, she really fell in love with that. So uh, we picked that up today. And uh, uh, she also found that little uh, Ford 5000 uh, die cast you see there. Uh, which actually looks a lot like uh, my blue uh, Ford 2000, which, of course, it's basically the same tractor. It's just the 5000, obviously, is the bigger series to the same tractor. Um, of course, we've got the New Holland hat, and uh, we won. Uh, she, wa she actually won the funnel, and I won the set of earplugs there, which are actually pretty good earplugs. That, well, really, it's two sets there, but... Uh, we really had fun today. Um, I really want to go back next year. I'm already kind of making plans for that. Um, if I do, I might want to try to do a two-day trip next time. We honestly did not get to see everything today. Uh, we we saw the majority of it, but there was like a whole upstairs section we didn't get to go to, which was uh, involved uh, the, uh, more of a gift shop and crafts and stuff like that. We didn't get to see the see that uh because we was really we was wore out time we got done today and they had a bunch of seminars there that some of them seemed like they'd be kind of interesting but we just uh uh didn't have the time or really the energy to go go into them and of course they also had the championship tractor pool which honestly wasn't a bad price to get in just general mission was only nine dollars i wouldn't mind seeing that next year so um if I have any piece of advice for anybody who's never been to this before, and this has come from somebody who's, this was my first time there, um, go ahead and pay the extra for the parking so that you can actually leave and come back. And the only reason I say that is because the concessions are, uh, I will say, a little bit pricey. Uh, it was like it was $8 for a hot dog and stuff like that. And uh, we ended up uh, getting hamburgers because, uh, they were about eleven dollars a piece, but they were actually pretty good to say the least. But uh, I still think you could do better by leaving, maybe going to McDonald's or somewhere, then coming back later. But uh, anyway, we had a great, great time. Again, I'm making plans on trying to come back next year. I hope I get to, and we'll see what happens. So when we come back, hopefully next week we'll be back to doing some farm work and. Uh, messing with the chickens and getting back to that electric poultry fence so uh, to stay with us and uh, uh, if you guys uh, like the material hit please hit the like button and uh, if you're not yet a subscriber please hit the subscribe button uh, that'll help me out a lot i appreciate y'all appreciate you guys and join us again next time right here on equally yoke farm